Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today discussion is electric field due to infinite due to infinite plane sheet of charge. So friends, I have already drawn that a infinite plane sheet. Okay, plane sheet of charge. This is the infinite plane sheet charge, and this is the Gaussian surface, and this is the electric field. Now, consider an infinite thin plane sheet. So, infinite thin plane infinite thin plane sheet plane sheet of positive charge having a uniform surface charge density sigma surface charge density density surface charge density sigma surface charge density sigma so you both sides of the sheet by symmetry it follows that the electric field is perpendicular to the plane electric field electric field is perpendicular to the plane 90 degree to the plane sheet of charge and is directed in outward direction electric field direction is direction outward outward direction must remember friends electric field direction is outward and to find electric field due to the plane sheet of charge at any point p distant r from it draw a cylinder of area of cross section a area of cross section area of cross section equals to a through the point p as the gaussian surface so to find electric field due to the plane sheet of charge at any point P distant R from it. So distance is R from it. Draw a cylinder. Area of cross section A through means this cylinder I have already draw. This is the cylinder. So friends, outward direction. Direction cross section A through the point P as the Gaussian surface. Point P, point P is Gaussian surface. Okay. To, I just discuss what I have drawn. Okay. What I have drawn that I discuss in, discussed. So R from it, distance P, R from it, and since electric lines of force are parallel to the curved surface of the cylinder parallel to the curved surface to the cylinder the flux due to electric field of the plane sheet of charge passes only through the two circular a caps of the cylinder circular caps of the cylinder if e is the magnitude of electric electric field at point p then electric flux crossing through the gaussian surface so phi equals to E into area of end faces. Area of end faces. I hope it is clear area of end faces. E. E into area of end faces. It can be written as E cross 2A and the Gauss's theorem 
वॉट इज द गॉस थ्यूरिम गॉस थ्यूरिम apply gauss theorem so phi is equal to phi is equal to q by epsilon 0 okay this clear q divided by epsilon 0 q divided by epsilon 0 and e into 2 cross a e cross 2a e cross 2a a equals to sigma a into epsilon 0 sigma sigma is equal to surface density surface density charge is equal to surface charge density surface charge density is equal to e into means q into q so q into q equals to sigma a okay this means a line line integral lambda into l Okay, line integral, length, or length density and surface density is different. Sigma into a, a. So sigma divided a divided by epsilon zero. So e equals to sigma divided by two epsilon zero. Sigma divided by two epsilon zero. This is my electric field. Infinite plane conductor having finite thickness the gaussian gaussian surface will include charge into sigma into 2a okay so in that case we get e is equal to Sigma divided by epsilon zero. So friends, another case we uh, arrive infinite, 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 finite. This is not thin plate. Okay, the case will arrive infinite, finite, infinite, finite. Thickness infinite plane conductor infinite plane conductor infinite plane conductor having having finite thickness. Thickness the Gaussian surface will include sigma into 2a. So E equals to sigma divided by epsilon 0. How? Because E into E into 2a equals to sigma into 2a. In case in here we do not con we consider only sigma into a, but in here I consider sigma into 2a that's why we get e is equal to sigma divided by 2 sorry not sigma sigma equals to sigma divided by epsilon 0 when there is a finite thick thickness thanks for watching